Get ready to dive into the top trending open source GitHub projects this week. Part one, in this video, we're breaking down some of the most innovative tools shaping AI development and data. From simulating hedge funds with AI-powered multi-agents to an invisible AI desktop assistant that learns from your screen and a poor man's Bayus built-in Go. We'll also cover a multi-platform social media scraper and an all-in-one AI coding agent. Let's explore each project step-by-step. Step. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Trading Agents, AI-powered multi-agent trading simulator. Imagine recreating the intelligence of a real-world trading firm inside your code. And that's exactly what Trading Agents brings to the table. What makes this tool stand out is its multi-agent architecture. Instead of a single AI making trades, it deploys a full team, fundamental analysts, sentiment analysts, news experts, technical analysts, who each gather insights in parallel. These insights are then debated by bull and bear researchers, ensuring both optimistic and cautious viewpoints are considered. This structured debate mirrors real financial workflows, making decision-making more robust. But that's not all. There's a trader agent that synthesizes the team's analysis to make informed buy or sell decisions, followed by a risk management team and portfolio manager to control exposure and approve trades. The outcome? You get an ensemble of reasoning, checks and balances, just like a hedge fund, simulating with LLMs. Another unique feature is explainability. Every agent logs its reasoning in natural language, making it easy to trace why a decision was made, crucial for debugging and understanding AI behavior. On top of that, the framework uses the React prompting approach to blend reasoning and execution fluidly. Behind the scenes, it's modular and LLM agnostic. Built with Langraph and compatible with models like GPT-40, O1 preview, or lighter versions for cost efficiency. Plus, it includes a CLI and Python package you can clone, configure with your FinHub and OpenAI keys, and run market simulations interactively. In short, Trading Agents is not just an AI toy. It's a full-fledged simulation of professional trading firms, built on collaboration, transparency, and modular design. It's a groundbreaking tool for anyone interested in financial AI, algorithmic trading, or multi-agent systems. Project number two, Glass, your invisible AI desktop assistant. Imagine having an AI that quietly learns from everything on your screen, your meetings, browsing, and even conversations, and then proactively surfaces what matters most, exactly when you need it. That's Glass by Pickle. And what makes it unique is its complete invisibility and deep context awareness. Unlike typical AI chatbots that require you to ask questions, Glass runs continuously in the background, observing screen content and listening to audio in real time, so it can automatically summarize meetings, highlight action items, and answer questions based on what you're currently doing. What really sets Glass apart is its seamless experience. It never shows up in screenshots or recordings and keeps your workspace clean with no visible dock icon or intrusive pop-up. You interact via intuitive keyboard shortcuts like compound palaf to raise its window or compound palaf to raise its window or compound palaf enter to ask a question based on your recent context with the AI using your own open AI key or optionally pickles free key. Glass also shines in meetings. It captures live audio transcripts, creates summaries on the fly, and lets you ask follow-up questions instantly without disrupting the flow. Developers and privacy-minded users love that it's open source on GitHub under GPL 3.0, so you're not locked into proprietary tracking or cloud services, you control your data. Built with lightweight JavaScript slash TypeScript and available as a ready-to-run macOS app or local build, Glass is fast, easy to use, and developer-friendly. In short, Glass offers a new class of AI assistant, one that is always present yet never intrusive, delivering the power of AI-driven insights and knowledge capture across your daily digital life. Project number three, Penny Base, a tiny no-frills boz in under 1,000 lines of Go. Imagine getting a fully functional backend as a service like Firebase or Supabase, but squeezed into a humble 700 lines of Go code. That's Penny Base, a poor man's boz that stands out for its radical simplicity and educational design. Unlike bulkier solutions, this tool uses only Go's standard library, no external dependencies, which makes it easy to understand, modify, and run anywhere. What sets Penny Base apart is its 
minimalist yet feature-complete core. It uses human-readable CSV files for storage and implements version-depend-only records, complete with in-memory indexing so your data remains fast and accessible. You get RESTful JSON APIs, session cookies and basic auth, real-time updates via server-sent events, RBAC and ownership-based permissions, all without a database server. Despite its compact code base, Pennybase supports schema validation and simple hooks, letting developers inject business logic or modify resources at creation, update, or deletion time. It's a toy project with power prototypes, demos, and learning tools come to life in a minute. The community love comes from its clarity. As one Redditor noted, it's not the first time, but I feel like the intersection of people who want a bass and people who write in Go is vanishingly small, highlighting its niche appeal to Go developers. Another praised its architecture. This is exactly how I'd have designed it. Good architecture is all about handling many use cases without overcomplicating things. In short, Pennybase is unique because it's a full-fledged backend built with surgical precision. No bloat, no cloud lock-in, total transparency. If you're learning back-end principles, teaching others, or prototyping quickly, this lean powerhouse is built for simplicity and speed, and it proves big ideas don't need big code. Project number four, Media Crawler. Multi-platform social media data scraper. Imagine a tool that effortlessly fetches videos, images, likes, shares, and deep comment threads from your favorite Chinese social platforms without writing any code. Media Crawler does exactly that. Built on Node.js and Python with Playwright, this open source scraper runs a real browser session so you don't have to reverse engineer complex APIs or encrypted requests. What makes Media Crawler stand out is its simplicity paired with powerful multi-platform support. Out of the box, it handles Shohongshu, Douyin, Kuaisho, Bilibili, Weibo, Tiba, and Jihu, covering videos, posts, images, comments, likes, forwards, and even nested replies. Instead of decoding encryption or spoofing headers, it leverages Playwright browser automation, maintaining login sessions via cookies or QR code scans. This lets developers bypass authentication hurdles naturally, reducing technical barriers dramatically. Plus, it offers built-in features like login state caching, proxy pool support, and optional multi-account scraping, perfect for scaling up ethically for research or data collection. Another key strength is its flexible data storage options. Media Crawler can save results to MySQL, CSV files, or JSON exports, making it easy to integrate into dashboards, analysis pipelines, or automation workflows. Its ability to search by keywords, scrape specific creator profiles or post IDs, and crawl full comment trees sets it apart from typical single platform scrapers. What's more, the project encourages learning and customization. A pro version adds resume on error features, removes Node.js dependent for Linux support and includes enhanced architecture for enterprise-grade scraping. Media Crawler is also a learning hub. Its maintainers offer tutorials, and its clean modular code is ideal for developers exploring browser automation or social media analytics. In short, Media Crawler is unique because it combines multi-platform reach, browser-based login bypass, scalable features, and user-friendly data export into a single open-source toolkit, empowering anyone to capture and analyze social media content without fighting technical roadblocks. Project number five, Kilo Code, the all-in-one open source AI coding agent. Imagine having a powerful AI teammate right inside your VS Code editor, one that plans, writes, fixes, and reviews code across your entire project. That's exactly what Kilo Code brings to the table. Built as an open source superset of popular tools like Klein and Roo, Kilo Code combines their strengths with its own innovations to create a cohesive, developer-friendly experience. What makes Kilo Code truly unique is its multi-mode orchestra. Rather than just suggesting lines of code, it breaks down complex tasks into phases. Architect mode designs the solution, code mode builds it, and debug mode identifies and fixes issues. This structured workflow mirrors how a real dev team operates, keeping you in control at every step. Another standout feature is its model context protocol MCP server and marketplace. This ecosystem allows Kilo to integrate tools like Figma, Perplexity, Git, and more directly into your coding flow. No glue code required. Want to pull docs or use a custom AI model? Just plug it into the MCP marketplace. Kilo code also nails context awareness. It automatically scans your project, even multiple files, pulls in relevant documentation via context seven, and provides intelligent, accurate suggestions, greatly reducing hallucination or the dreaded it doesn't compile moment. Despite its enterprise grade capabilities, Kilo remains fully open source and flexible. You can run it locally, 
or hook up to free models via open router, self-hosted APIs, or premium providers, all with no vendor lock-in, and your data stays yours. In under 300 words, Kilo Code transforms coding from a line-by-line -line core into a streamlined intelligent workflow, merging design, implementation, and debugging into one seamless AI-driven experience inside your favorite editor. Project number six, NoteGen, AI enhanced markdown for recording and writing. Picture a note-taking app that captures your random thoughts and turns them into polished, readable content, all powered by AI. NoteGen is a cross-platform markdown tool that's unique because it bridges the gap between quick recording and structured writing using intelligent AI workflows. What sets NoteGen apart is its two-phase design, a recording page and a writing page. In recording mode, you can instantly log screenshots, text, files, illustrations, and clipboard captures. The AI assistant can even chat with you or organize these clips by tag, turning fragmented ideas into coherent snippets. No more chasing stray clips. Everything is captured and contextualized. Then comes writing mode, a markdown editor with WiseEyeWig, live preview, version history, and AI-enhanced writing. You can summon the AI to continue sentences, polish prose, translate content, or answer your queries right inside the editor. It supports rich formatting, outlines, math, charts, diagrams, mind maps, and even voice reading. Plus, it syncs with GitHub, GuyT, or WebDAV for safe offline first storage. Another standout is its AI model flexibility. You can connect to ChatGPT, Gemini, Alama, LM Studio, Grok, or self-hosted models, letting you tailor AI power to fit your privacy and performance needs. Its RAG is Sun retrieval augmented generation capability means your personal notes serve as the model's knowledge base, lifting memory recall and content relevance to new levels. Lightweight and smooth, NoteGen wraps Tari and Next.js into a sleek desktop experience with multi-device sync. The community is active, regularly adding features like image asset syncing, AI controls, and editor shortcut. In short, NoteGen isn't just another markdown app, it's a smart AI AI first note ecosystem. It captures fleeting thoughts, helps you craft polished content, and adapts with your workflow. For anyone building knowledge, content, or ideas, NoteGen feels like having a personal writing assistant and digital filing cabinet rolled into one. Project number seven, in physical, open source secrets and PKI platform. Imagine a tool that centralizes all your sensitive data, API keys, database credentials, certificate, securely, yet keeps it entirely under your control. That's in physical, an open source secrets management platform designed to be both powerful and developer friendly. What makes it stand out is its all-in-one secret orchestration, a slick dashboard, powerful CLI, and integrations across GitHub, Vercel, Kubernetes, Terraform, Ansible, and more. You can manage secrets across environments, dev, staging, production, with role-based access control, audit logs, versioning, and even automatic point-in-time recovery, features usually found only in enterprise-grade platforms. But InPhysical doesn't stop at static secret. Its dynamic secrets feature generates ephemeral credentials for databases, Cloud IAM, and GitHub apps on the fly, minimizing long-lived key risk. This automation is a boon for rotating credentials securely and reducing human error. The optional InPhysical gateway enables secure outbound-only access from private networks to your secret store without exposing any inbound ports, perfect for modern zero-trust architectures. Developers also love the developer experience-first design. The CLI can inject secrets into local environments with ease, and personal overrides allow for safe experimentation. The included secret scanning tools catch accidental leaks before they hit Git. Want certificates? InPhysical handles internal PKI, certificate issuance, rotation, and revocation, all built in. Early adopters appreciate its ease of setup, easier than vault and production readiness. For instance, Hugging Face and others report time saved and better security posture using InPhysical. In short, InPhysical brings together security, usability, and automation in one open source package, making it uniquely suited for both individual developers and enterprise DevOps teams who want secrets management without complexity. Project number eight, Corrosion. Decentralized gossip-based service discovery. Imagine managing service discovery across thousands of servers globally without relying on a costly central database. That's exactly what Corrosion offers. What makes this tool unique is its gossip-based architecture built on CRC Squite, CRDTs, which enables fully eventually consistent state replication across 
across nodes with no central point of failure. Instead of querying a remote day store with potential latency of hundreds of milliseconds, each node keeps a local CR database that updates and replicates through a lightweight gossip protocol, delivering millisecond level response times. Another standout feature is Corrosion's flexible eSQL-driven API, which supports real-time HTTP streaming subscriptions to customize query conditions. This means your distributed system can react instantly when data changes, ideal for config updates, real-time metrics, and dynamic service registration. The project also integrates a SWIM-based membership model via FOCA and quick-powered peer-to-peer communication for secure low-latency node interactions. Corrosion was born to replace console's centralized state with a fully decentralized resilient system. It shines in global deployment contexts, where network latency and central points of failure are unacceptable. With over 1.1K stars, it's gaining momentum in the Rust ecosystem as a performance-first, scalable alternative for distributed service discovery. In essence, Corrosion transforms distributed state management by combining SQLite simplicity, CRDT conflict resolution, gossip replication, and real-time SQL hooks into one cohesive, decentralized package. It's a game-changer for engineers building high-scale, globally distributed systems that need fast reads, fault tolerance, and operational flexibility, all without a central server. Project number nine, Vertex AI Creative Studio, Google Cloud's generative media playground. Picture a platform that lets you seamlessly generate images, videos, and audio using Google's cutting edge AI, all within a polished web app. That's exactly what Vertex AI Creative Studio, also known as Gen Media Creative Studio offers. What sets this tool apart is its deep integration with Vertex AI's generative media APIs, including Imogen for text to image, VO for video generation, and Gemini for prompt rewriting and multimodal image evaluation. Instead of juggling separate tools, you get a unified creative workspace powered by Google's AI. Another feature that makes this tool unique is its built-in multimodal feedback loop. Rather than simply generating content, the app uses Gemini as a critic, scoring and refining your images automatically. This intelligent evaluation ensures you're not left scrolling through dozens of mediocre outputs. You see only the best versions. Plus, its support for creative gen media workflows helps you effortlessly combine images, brand guidelines, and even script generation for video creation in one cohesive pipeline. From a developer's perspective, it's built with Mesa, a Python UI framework that accelerates rapid prototyping, meaning you can clone the repo and have a fully functional generative app in minutes. The modular folder structure, encompassing models, prompts, experiments, makes customization easy, and you can dive into experimental features like standalone VO apps, MCP tools for gen media, and even podcast creation assistance. Importantly, this is not just a demo, it's a developer-ready example app you can build upon, clone the repo, set your Google Cloud project and storage bucket, and you're off. With 662 commits and active pull requests, the project lives and evolves in real time, making it a vibrant starting point for anyone looking to create generative AI content powered by Vertex AI APIs. In short, Vertex AI Creative Studio is a polished, developer-friendly sandbox that showcases everything generative media can do, from prompt-driven image synthesis to video generation, packed into to one cohesive, customizable web interface. If you're diving into AI-powered creativity, this tool is a must explore. Project number 10, ML for Beginners. Learn classic machine learning in 12 weeks. Picture a complete, easy-to-follow course on machine learning that guides you from zero knowledge to real hands-on expertise. And that's exactly what Microsoft's ML for Beginners offers. This repo isn't just a random collection of code. It's a structured, project-based curriculum spanning 12 weeks, 26 lessons, and 52 quizzes, meticulously designed for total beginners. What makes it truly unique is its global, culturally-guided approach. Each lesson connects ML concepts to stories and data from around the world, from pumpkin prices in North America to music preferences in Nigeria. That cultural narrative makes learning relatable and memorable. Another standout feature is the mix of theory, quizzes, and real-world projects. Every lesson starts with a quick warm-up quiz, guides you through the material, gives you a challenge project, and then tests your understanding with a post-quiz. And it supports both Python and R, so you're not limited to one language. By the end of the course, you'll build a full web app, understand regression, classification, clustering, NLP, 
time series, and reinforcement learning, all using Seek It Learn and Jupyter Notebook. The repository is also community friendly. It includes sketch notes, video walkthroughs, translation support, and an active GitHub discussions board, ideal for asking questions or sharing progress. With 73K plus stars and 16K fork, it's a trusted resource that's actively used and supported by learners worldwide. In essence, ML for Beginners is more than just code. It's a guided learning journey, blending structured curriculum, real-world data, interactive quizzes, and community support, perfect for anyone serious about mastering machine learning from scratch. That wraps up part one of our deep dive into these incredible open source projects. We hope you enjoyed learning about tools like Trading Agents, Glass, and Kilo Code. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tech insights, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss part two, where we'll explore even more amazing projects like NoteGen, InPhysical, and ML for Beginners. Let us know in the comments which project impressed you most. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.